Hi, welcome back to Night After Night. Uh, who Killed Laura Palmer was a favorite Who Done It besides Who Shot JR. And in Twin Peaks, uh, Cheryl Lee played everybody's favorite dead homecoming queen. And now she <laughs> stars in Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me, the movie. How you doing? Good, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Saw you in Salome with uh, Al Pacino. Great job. Thank you. Was that fun to do? Um, fun would be one adjective I would use. There, there are many. Um, it was a wonderful learning experience. Working with Al is fantastic. Um, it was, it was it's nice to say that, isn't it? Working with Al? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I still sometimes pinch myself. I can't believe that I actually worked with him. Um, it was very intimidating at first. but. Had, had you done a play before on Broadway? No. So you, you made your Broadway debut, first time you worked with Al Pacino. Mm -hmm. How long were rehearsals? Three and a half weeks. Not a long time. No, not nearly long enough. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, did you feel unprepared? Well, it, there's a tremendous amount of pressure. I mean, it was a dream come true for me to work on stage in New York. But when you have a kind of dream like that, you don't see everything else that comes along with it. You know, the critics, mm -hmm. the pressure, the... Do you get trashed by the critics? Um, I, I don't read reviews, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> I recently... Was... Well, they loved you, let me just say. Everybody loved you. Thanks. I'm just teasing. I, I, I... I recently sort of went through a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. And? And I think that um, if they all know so much, then they should get up there and try it themselves. Damn straight. That's <laughs> good for you. <laughs> and I felt really good to say that, finally. <laughs> well, say it. Yeah. Say it like you mean it. Say yeah. like, really mad. Come on, you're PO'd, aren't you? No, no. Uh -huh. I, you, get, you finally reach this point where you go, you know what? Because every film that I love, the critics hate. So it's almost to the point now where it's like, if they hate something, then I know it's good. Really? Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you hate? What do you hate? What do I hate? Yeah. Fear. When you're afraid? Mm-hmm. But isn't it a great motivator? Yeah, sometimes. But it also um, blocks you a lot, especially creatively. Do, were you afraid to play a corpse in a TV series? No. How, now, how, how did this come about? What was the audition process like? Lay uh, down? <laughs> yeah, lay down and don't breathe and we'll time you. No, um, I was living in Seattle doing theater and studying up there. And I got a call one day that David was in town and wanted to meet me for the role. David Lynch? Yeah. And were you familiar with his work before that? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Blue Velvet? Mm hmm So you like that. Already I can see that sparkle in your <laughs> eye. I like things that are controversial. So what, what happened? What was the audition process like? Well, I went into a room and I sat with David and Mark Frost and Joanna Ray, who was the casting director. And I was so nervous, I had to sit on my hands like this. The whole time I thought if I take my hands out, they're going to see how much I'm shaking. And he talked to me for a long time. At that time, the body was going to be found in the water. So mostly we talked about the temperature of the water <laughs> <laughs> and if I could stand it. But then you were cast as uh, the evil twin. Yeah, except she wasn't evil. She was more of a dork. Maddie. Well, yeah, but I mean, at least you got lines. Yeah, you yeah. Know. Now, what, did you bug him about, say, hey, bring me back as a twin, I have to have some wines? Or how did that happen? Was that in the original story? No, not at all. Um, we finished shooting the pilot, and everybody left and went back down to L.A., and I stayed in Washington. I thought that was it. And a few months after that, David called me and said, how do you feel about heights? And I said, fine, why? Well, I was terrified of heights. If I, I mean, I was the kind of person that if I stood on a ladder, I would get, you know, weak in the knees and faint. We're back in fear again. Yeah, exactly. And he said, because I have this role for you, I, I want to hang you by piano wire 60 feet above the ground from a crane. And I said, That's, that sounds fine, David. <laughs> you know, and the next thing I knew, I was playing the good witch in Wild at Heart. And at that time, he said, I want to bring you back um, on the show. And we'll figure out as who later. Now, what was it like doing the movie and the TV show every week or every two weeks you had to crank out an episode, but now you're in a movie. What was, how was the atmosphere different? How was the movie different? Um, I much prefer working on a film because you have a beginning, a middle, and an end. You know, a series will just go on and on and you don't know what, you know, they can go six months down the line and all of a sudden write something for your character that's been going on the whole time and you didn't even know it. Um, and in a film, you can take things a lot further as we do in this film things can get a lot wilder so not only can we are we going to talk about laura but we're probably going to see her being very naughty yes 
Do you like that, the fact that you can just like let it go? Yeah, yeah. Now this is a prequel, this movie? Mm -hmm. This is all the stuff that happened right before she was uh, killed? Yeah, her last seven days. Well, in the series, you know, um, James, for example, would talk about the last night that he saw Laura and what she said and what she did and what she was like, and you finally get to see the way that she really was. And even though you think you know who killed her, you don't really know how or why. It must have been interesting knowing so much about the character, having that time, and then you go back and you're going to start developing it almost again. Uh, did you, were you able to sit down with David and talk about that, your feelings about her? Definitely, and um, Jennifer Lynch, who wrote Laura Palmer's diary, um, I, I used that diary every day. I, I carried it with me in my trailer and would constantly refer back to it as, as research material, which is a wonderful thing to have as an actress. Now, are you, uh, now you've seen the film, obviously. You're happy with it? I've seen it twice. Um, I'm a huge fan of David's. It's incredibly difficult for me to watch myself on, on screen in in films. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with it yet. Now, I, I, someone told me in Japan, I read this in Japan, that uh, they're crazy for yeah. Twin Peaks. Yeah. Uh, have you been over there? Yeah, I was over there um, this past spring promoting the film. It's already been released there. I mean, they went so far as to make um, a fake corpse of my body, Laura Palmer, wrap it in plastic, put it in a coffin, and they had a memorial service for it. Did, did, we, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, it's Did they serve coffee anything. and cherry pie? Probably. Now, do you, is, is that flattering to you? I don't know. I think they'd rather have me dead over there. <laughs> now, but do you think this Laura Palmer stigma is going to last with you for a while? I mean, do you, do you worry about that? Hey, Laura Palmer, hey, you know, that kind of thing 20 years from now? Um... I don't know. It was such an honor to have worked on that show and to be a, a part of, of that whole thing. So I, I don't really worry about it. And I'm, I've been very conscious about the roles that I've chosen after that, as far as I, I always want to do something very different than I did last. And, and like continue, Salome? Exactly. And continue to, to stretch and be challenged as an actress. And where's home now? You said you don't, you don't have a home now? I don't have a home. So if there's a mayor out there in an important city, he can pitch his city to you? Yeah. Okay. New York, L.A.? I'll probably be back in L.A. for a little while. Okay, sound excited about that. Cheryl Lee, thank you very much. We're out of time. Uh, okay. Laura Palmer in Fire Walk With Me. Uh, I'll be right back after this. Mm -hmm.